Hello guys, today we're going to learn how to pour liquid into glass using Cinema 4D and Reflow. So uh, we're just going to do a basic glass, um, nothing fancy, but just we'll get the job done. So put a simple cylinder there, we'll convert it, make it editable, by pressing C or you click there. You have, to, you have to have a basic uh, Cinema 4D knowledge for you to be able to be doing this and you have to have a real flow otherwise it won't work. So there we make, made it editable. Then we select our top parts, our lines at the top using the loop selection tool. Um, I'm oh sorry, we have to make it, uh, we have to um, optimize first. Optimize. This is so we can manipulate it without affecting any of your polygons. So scale it out. So and loop select this. Delete. So uh, uh -huh. then select the bottom part. Just so. We smooth in this part. This is just so we can, you know, just a simple glass. Um, won't waste so much time into it. Okay. So let's select the object. So the extrude. Make sure you've got cap selected. That was no work. So. All right. Once we've done that. Um, Uh, we select our inner 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 part. Sorry, yeah, like so it's already selected since you extruded. So we split this part. So let's rename this. Sorry, so, so this is glass. Okay, then this is the inner glass. Like so. So go to real flow, put, put our C in there, okay, an emitter, put a circle emitter, that there, bring it up, like so, scale it in, you can put it however hard you want to, but yeah, this is okay. Okay, so when we start with our liquid, it starts pouring out. So if you notice, it's coming through our polygon. There's a way we can stop it from doing that. Um, go to our inner class there. Go to our reflow tag. Then they put the collider tag and the volume tag. Leave it there, the medium, then the volume tag is um, let's just check the parameters, just put collision distance to 0.5, like so. Um, let's just scale down our, our emitter again, sorry, like so. Got a collider emitter set up. So let's see if it's uh, okay. Fine, let's before we put that, um, let's put uh, a gravity. Uh, let me just show you first, okay? So, right, so, so you can see it's no longer coming out. So it's 16 all plus. You notice uh, our particles are coming on up on top, they're just splashing. There's a splash that's going on there that's really gonna show you in a moment. Like so so it's got a hollow shape splash going on there. So we don't want it to do that. So we put a daemon, a graphic dam a gravity daemon. So 
is a parameter to Then we have uh, we put let's put uh, K volume. This is to stop from any excess uh, emitters to from um, coming out. But it's all right. No need. Okay. So if you notice our liquid is coming out straight, it's not really um, looking more natural. Uh, when water is pouring, you know, this doesn't really come out straight, so any fluid anyway. So we go to a real flow, then go select our cave, um, our noise, uh, our noise field. Let's put the strength of 25. Feet. Is coming in, uh, our fluid is coming out in a zigzag fashion or no, natural fashion. So, okay, this is good. Then let's adjust our emitter so that uh, when it gets to a specific point, it stops emitting. Uh, let's get to about. Uh, 120 to 130 so we select our speed we keyframe it get to 130 and let's put zero keyframe so let's Let's put our measure. Let's measure. Okay, so we'll see our mesh right there. So let's adjust our parameters there. So just a resolution. Let's get this to 10. And this. And um, a meter. Um, no, fluid, sorry. Uh, a meter measure. Get our mesh to full resolution, keep it low, smoothness is put it to five. Let's see. So you can adjust how you want it, uh, it's totally up to you. Thinning, let's just get it to point five. Okay, so I look at this point like that. So Okay. All right. Then um, let's put our materials just so that we can uh, we can see what's going on here. So uh, let's put material. We just transparency. This for glass. Then this is the glass. The refraction. Let's put it to one point. Glass, uh, inner glass. So, uh, 
place the glue in the fluid. Okay. There's transparency. Um, let's put uh, water. Maybe juice, kind of orange. -y. Put a basic light in there. Um, basic light system. Duplicate. Duplicate. I'll put a sky there. Okay, so this is how we pour liquid into a glass using real flow and cinema 4D. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for more tutorials. Please subscribe. Like so. So uh, thank you.